Welcome, Welcome to Copy Talk. Talk. <laughs> Copy Talk is a podcast about event related topics sprinkled with vivid opinions from the comfort of our, our amazing event facility, the Annenberg Presidential Conference Center at Texas AM University and the Bush School of Government and Public Service. Whew. <laughs> Yeah, breathe. <laughs> Each week, we are here to share, educate, and enlighten you on what is going on in the events industry today, tomorrow, yesterday, and way down in the future. Oh, yeah. Okay. Welcome. <laughs> okay. Are we started yet? Coffee talk, yeah. Oh, We're okay. on coffee. Okay, I'm on. Oh, yeah. Okay. Snacks. Welcome. Welcome. There you go. Hi. Hi. All right. Hi. Was it Poetry Slam? Is that right? I <laughs> really have to read all this we are reading no, all of it we're reading don't. all of it no okay because you're about to leave and most people don't go read it on the web we're gonna make them listen to it no it's boring it's not boring today <laughs> we're joined with dr frank ashley the third yeah who is the executive associate dean and senior professor at the bush school of government and public service at texas a&m university <laughs> thank you for thank you i'm enjoying my time here He's just going to cut you off to go short. straight to the question. Mm -hmm. yes. He came to the Bush School from the college board where he was senior vice president of membership and higher education engagement. As executive associate dean, Dr. Ashley oversees graduate education research activities as well as strategic planning, faculty affairs, student affairs, program development, diversity, assessment, communications, and external relations. It's easy student for you to services, say. You know <laughs> extended education yeah. programs in the Bush School. Maybe that was a run-on sentence. We need okay, to rewrite that one. Okay. Uh, does Grant just copy and paste? That's on Grant. Yeah. Okay. He, he also teaches the Managing Diversity in Public and Nonprofit Organizations course. Dr. Ashley earned his bachelor's degree from Louisiana College and a master's and doctorate from the University of Alabama. He began his academic career as a science teacher and coach. His previous appointments include faculty positions and service as Dean of the College of Education and Interim Provost Vice President for Academic Affairs at Texas A&M University Commerce, as well as Director take of deep, Admissions and Associate <laughs> Dean for Undergraduate you, Teachers you're gonna hyperventilate. and Teacher uh, Education at yeah, Texas A&M yeah. University's yeah. College of Education. I have always learned, that's just the key to speaking. When, whenever you say something, you, you take a deep breath. <laughs> And then you make a point and, and relax, and then then you take you pause for a second, there, yeah, in through the nose, <laughs> out through the mouth. There you go. There you go, TJ. That's a that's a great introduction. Thank you so much. From so 2007 so to 20, <laughs> so 2010, to be here, Dr. Ashley served as vice chancellor for academic affairs for the Texas A&M University system, where he served as chief academic officer for the system and represented the system at the state level on all academic issues. In 2010, he was named Vice Chancellor for Recruitment and Diversity and Chief of Staff. In this position, he collected and analyzed Good. system data on diversity and assisted system universities and agencies in recruiting and retaining diverse students, faculty, and staff. Do you need to take a sip of water? No, I'm yeah. good. Okay. 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 I'm a perfect. Former okay. college board trustee, yeah. Dr. Ashley also has served on boards and committees for numerous other organizations, including the Committee Foundation of the Brazos Valley, Chai Chi, St. Joseph Health. C Always throws me off. C H I. C H I. It's not Chi. No, you don't no, have to say it. Chi's a T. No, that's Chai. Chai Chi. <laughs> Chi tea. Chi yeah. is like your oh. your inner peace. Your yeah, your, yeah. your chakras. I do have chi. You got a lot of it. I've got I've got I've got chi. See blowing off his head. Yeah, yeah. No, that's sweat from all these lights and the heat in this place. Jeez, I feel like I'm in purgatory. Remember how we were talking about funding earlier? <laughs> okay. The resources that we need. Yeah. Okay. Let's throw it on the list. TJ, are you gonna finish? The North, <laughs> the North American Society for Sports Management, and the Commerce. Independent School District. He currently serves as the chair of the Clinical Operations Board of St. Luke's Health. He was also a member of the editorial board of both the Journal of Applied and Athletic Research and Coaching and the International Journal of Sports Management. I used to be important. Your freaking you know, eyes just get I, big. I used to be so important. You still are. At one point in time. You no, know. it says right here, with all of the roles that Dr. Ashley has had, his most important 
is being our number one guest on the podcast. That's true. That's true. So you're still important to us. Okay. Thank you. But I'm done talking. Do I can't a, talk do anymore. A, do you need a break right now from <laughs> That's that? what I was about to say. Should we regroup? Jeez. Is it a commercial or something? Yeah. A commercial we'll put a break? commercial in there. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's always fun to be with you guys. You know, it's, it's an adventure because you never know what's going to happen. Absolutely. Yeah. Which was really funny when I sent the request to your assistant, and she was like, well, what does he need to prepare for? I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> Just it's wherever he takes the conversation that's usually. What, that's what she said. She goes, they wouldn't tell me what they wanted you to talk about. I said, because they can't tell me what to talk about, because I'm going to talk about whatever I want to talk about. We just try to guide the conversation, and then it just goes wherever you, it You just try it to just, keep it. You yeah, try to guide it. I do. She tries to keep it between the rails. That, you know, it's, no, that's, she keeps it off the rails. No, she I doesn't. I keep it on the rails. <laughs> but with Dr. Ashley, he's right. It's more you two. Yeah. With everybody else, it's me. Yeah. That's fair. Okay. <laughs> Lovely earrings. I like those. Thank you. Yeah, very colorful. I tried. Well, I thought you would be in something colorful. I today, really so. thought about it, but, you know, I, I had uh, a faculty affairs meeting today, and they had a breakfast in my honor, so I, I couldn't wear my crazy stuff. Sure I had to you could have. That's no, how they all know you. Why not? No, no. I had not to, for the new ones. I had to put my out. academic outfit on. Mm. Those aren't the I'll new ones. Those aren't until August. Shirt yeah. I mean, it's a nice shirt. Yeah. Like coral and blue. I can't wait to get rid of these when I retire. <laughs> Crotch wear my fishing oh, shirt. I was going to say all fishing shirts. All fishing shirts. That's fair. At least we know where to find you. Yeah. Either I'll either be fishing, golfing, or playing tennis. You play tennis? Do I play tennis? Oh. I didn't know. Uh, was team, it you that was talking about pickleball one time? My, yeah. My team won the yeah. state championship twice. Hmm. When's the last time you played since you had knee surgery? Um... Uh, I played in the state tournament, state team tournament back in January. Wow. But uh, I've been hurting since then. Yep. Are people leaving already? Is it that bad? Oh, my. My phone, it's ringing. Jeez. Oh, your phone? Yes. You see, I, I did turn mine off. You, Sarah, did you notice I turned my phone off? Well, on? it's in the bag at the bottom of the stroller, and so it's, yeah, it's going to be hard to get to. Okay. okay. Just put them in the hallway. <laughs> With the kid? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> With the kid. You know, it shouldn't ring again. <laughs> okay. It shouldn't, unless Jeff calls again. It's a text message. <laughs> oh, my God. So what were we talking oh, about Oh, it was today? you. You sent a text. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's to blame. Where you go, Jamie? <laughs> I assumed they were on silence. Uh, you know, mine is. It's TJ, though. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> so what do you guys want to talk about today? Um, okay, so we have a short list of questions because we didn't want to have too many. You really many. have questions? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, they had to be prepared with something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Other than the students, <laughs> what is one thing that has continually drawn you to the Bush School? The students. No, it's besides the students. Oh, oh, besi oh. besides oh, okay. the students. The students who are walking beside the other students. No, 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 no. I, let me just be okay. Let me get serious for a second. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Hang on a second. Let me. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna cheat myself. Chi myself. I'm gonna cheat myself. Chai um, chi. Chai. Chai myself. I'm gonna chai myself. <laughs> okay. Um, honestly, it's the people here. It, it's really the people. I mean, like you guys. You guys. Uh, you guys have one of the most stressful jobs here in the Bush School because you got to deal with a lot of people who, I mean, they come in with all these expectations, and if things aren't the way they like it, they can be pains in the in the rear. But you always have a smile on your face. You you know you might go home and drink a bunch of alcohol later, but uh, <laughs> but you always have a smile on your face. You're very professional. Who says dealing. we wait till we get to home? <laughs> But, you know, it's it's just people like you guys, hanging out with people like you guys. I mean, you you you, you probably could make more money doing something else, but you're still here because you because you like what you do. Um, I think there are a lot of faculty and staff members that could probably make more money 
doing other things. I know I can make more money doing other things, but but you like what you do here. Um, everyone sort of, you know, and there are a lot of people who were around when uh, when President Bush and Barbara Bush were alive. And you saw how, how they were and everything, and you just want to you want to help continue that vision that they started here with the Bush School. So it's a, it's a people, too. Yeah. So it's a student. Now, I'm not going to lie. There are some people that, you know, I could, I'm not going to miss. But uh, you, guys aren't, you guys aren't among the people I'm not going to miss. He's only doing it because it's on recording. That's fair. <laughs> Well, if you ever do miss us, you know where to find us. Oh, yeah, I know where you know. You know, I mean, it's I, like the door is always I open. had this conversation, I think, with Sarah. Mm -hmm. The Vendor Showcase. You'd be our greeter. Yeah, to be a greeter, to come in and just volunteer every once in a while. Y'all can pay me if you want to, but uh, but just be a greeter. You think the dean would sign off on that? Share that office next to mine. Uh, no, I don't want an office. I want to. Well, I want to come in every once in a while. Yeah. Yeah. But I. I now Sarah, Does he come in every once in a while? Sarah. No. Did I do a good job as You a did greeter? a great job. Before I could even talk to this young lady who walked up to the table, I think you were in the banquet space. He's like, welcome. Welcome to the vendor show case. Why don't you check in here? We've got all the vendors set up in the banquet space. There's some in that in the dining room and out here in the lobby. The auditoriums are – I didn't tell him anything. He just went off. <laughs> it's so you know, I, I, should, I do the same thing in the Bush Group. I Sometimes I sit at the front desk and I answer the phones. I did. <laughs> Poor Mary. I, I, no. well, that's, I mean, good. somebody, I mean, she's, should, somebody she, should answer. She's at the point. She's at the point where I mean, no, it. nobody can tell me. That, you know, <laughs> so I just sit there and I go, "Good morning, Bush School of Government Public Service. This is Frank. May I help you, please?" <laughs> and then I just and they're uh, like, "Yeah, can you talk to Doctor Ashley?" And you're like, "He's not available." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, I I love doing that. I it's fun. I you know I yeah a perfect. I, I think the biggest compliment I've received is throughout my whole career, and I and I went back to see a bunch of guys I went to school with, God, over 40 years ago, and they're saying, Frank, look at everything that you've achieved. You still, Frank, that went to college mm -hmm. here, that that crazy guy, who was who was in college with us, and and it's true. I just you know, so what? Never get the big head. Never get the big head. You can't take yourself too seriously. No, you can't take yourself too seriously. Because your hats won't fit. <laughs> <laughs> if you get the big head, you got to keep letting out strap your hat sort of fit and everything. <laughs> okay. Could you imagine what a day is like for Mary with the dean in the corner, her, then you got Brandon and Joe, you got Dr. Ashley coming from the back, and then however many times Grant walks in and out? I would love to sit in her office and just, just watch here. it. Just watch it. <laughs> Should be a GoPro. Yeah, I think we ought to have that. We ought to have a little drawing where you could do Mary for a day. <gasps> she she would no. She would that probably give her a heart attack. It probably <laughs> would. It probably would. Cause she was really nervous when I first started answering the phones. <laughs> well, that's the worst that can like happen. You You're a second. In, you know. I know, but she didn't know what I'd say. Mm. You know. Well, I mean, honestly, anybody on this campus who knows you that happens to call over there. They're going to be like, okay. Yeah. It's the parents. It's, yeah. oh. <laughs> Yo, baby, what's up? What's up? We're over here at 41 Place. What do you want? What do you want? Who do you want to talk to? Huh? Oh, no, nah, man. Can't do that. That ain't going right now, man. No, no, no. You leave a message, but he ain't talking to you right now. That ain't. Yeah. I wouldn't uh -huh. do anything like that. I always use that, that, that radio voice. I, I think <laughs> your customer service voice. Good morning. Bush School of Government and Public Service. <laughs> Frank here. How may I help you? We need to train our student workers. There, you know what needs to happen before you leave? Their hold music needs to be you singing. They need to change that because I get Well, tired. I I like I like the broccoli hold music. Yeah, but it's on all the time. You know how many times I've heard that? I mean, it's great. You have, you have because you're here. Yeah. But someone calling from it's Snook, Texas. Someone calling from Snook, Texas. Imagine that. Calling the Bush School, and they hear the broccoli go, Hey, Mary, come hear this. It's the broccoli thing. They're talking about George Bush's broccoli. God, it's so funny. God. Come hear this. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I hang up. Let's call again. Let's call again. Okay. Not to offend I'm anybody sorry. from Snook. Yeah, right. Or Tunis. <laughs> okay. 
me take a sip of water. <laughs> I got to do a little chi. A little chi moment. Oh, my God. Chai. I've already named this episode. <laughs> chi. Chai. Chai or chi? Chi. Listen. Haven't you heard of that? That's something I always wanted to do. I, I, I always wanted to do that tai chi. Yeah. Slow well, movement. You'll have plenty I could go of time slow. too. Because I can go slow. <laughs> I'm so glad this is class. not. You, sh- you should come teach a class for no, health I wanna, and wellness. No, I want to learn how to do it. Yeah. I want to learn how to do it. Down here at the pond for some health and wellness. That would be good. Tai Chi at the pond. You have to fix the retention walls first. Yeah, that's true, too. They're falling down. <laughs> Put on your list. Yeah. <laughs> that's on Brandon's list. Yeah. Dr. Ash's list is somewhere floating away. <sighs> I wrote a song about that. What? Retention walls. You didn't hear it? No. Oh, it's, uh, retention walls are falling down, falling <laughs> down, falling down. Retention walls are falling down. Oh, you okay? How do you get through a class? I'm just curious when you're teaching, like, how do you get through a class? Well, uh, believe it or not, but, uh, honest and, this is honest to getting this truth. I appoint one student in my class, and what what their main responsibility is is when I start going off a certain place, they raise their hand and say, Dr. Ashley, back on the tracks. <laughs> I mean, I, and I do that every semester. I appoint one student, and that's their resp- responsibility. That should be in the new faculty training. And Wait. matter of fact, there are some students that they will scream at the other student. He's not on the track. Get him back on the track. Because sometimes I just go, you know, somebody says something, and I just, you know. I think you're going to need to appoint a full-time staff member for our staff meetings for that, for yeah. to keep for you me, on track. Yeah. We do better when I lead them versus listening. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's your favorite memory, experience, or event while you've been here? You can take a drink. It's okay. Uh, the favorite favorite memories, well, I, I got Cali. One of my fir- first ones was the first time I went to Kenny Bunkport. And got to go to President Bush's house. That was a big one. Um, another big one was, I mean, it just happened last summer when uh, my wife and I, Janice, got a chance to land on the USS mm. W.H. Bush aircraft carrier. We flew out on a plane and landed on the aircraft carrier, stayed there for a couple of days, and were catapulted off the plane. Why aren't these things in the newsletters that we get? Don't even get me started. Because, like, I would like to see pictures of it. Oh, like I got landing, you. Want to, like, you, want to see you just picture? have to follow you just him on Facebook. Off. I got. I, you turned your phone off. I know. I could turn it on to show you pictures. But it's. Oh, it was, ama- it was amazing. We, we did that. Um, those are probably the, the, the most amazing two things. Thinking of all the speakers that have come here. I think one of my highlights was uh, Madeline Albright mm-hmm. when she came. You know, seeing somebody who you saw on TV and you, I mean, and just sitting down eating dinner with her, she's just a regular person. And that's what I've learned about all these, the people that come here. Uh, most of them are just regular people. They're just people that are committed to service. Yeah. So. why i probably can't tell you how many people have been here because i don't pay that much attention because yeah. it's not people yeah yeah they're really you know, now now the you every once in a while you get the high maintenance people and you remember those yes yeah <laughs> you remember, those. You remember the high maintenance people i do you as i put it you fondly remember them <laughs> that's nice yeah okay that's they're the nice. reason yeah they're the reasons i have a punching bag in my office yeah. Is that the reason? Partly. <laughs> yeah. You just change the pictures on the page. She wouldn't let us put pictures on it. Um, I didn't even know y'all were buying it. So Yeah. And we were like, yeah, and we can print out pictures. Well, I didn't want to waste trees. Okay. Figured I could envision it. Okay. Anyways. Next. Well, that's fair. Next. Well, yes, I Next. will need to see pictures of Next. it. Next. Okay. All Next. All right. All right. All right. Okay. I'm just, you know. D- is this is your question? You can ask Did it. You, it was, you were so proud of it. I'm not proud of it. I just had a question. Well, I mean, I can read questions. 
You should have done double, double spaced. Yeah. <laughs> you should have done double spaced. I mean, you could have added it. Uh, for visitors, staff, clients, future clients, vendors, etc., what is one thing that you would tell them about our facility? Um, first of all, I I would I don't think people appreciate the things that we have here. I mean, this is a world class facility. I mean, it it really is. Um, would you agree that um, ice cream socials do not fall in that category? I'm not going there. <laughs> I'm not going there. I'm not going there. But this, but seriously, this is a world class facility, um, and it's one of those things where, yeah, it's it's sort of like when I was here as as uh, before I became vice chancellor. When I left to go to another university, I mean, I moved from College Station for three years, and there are a lot of things that I took for granted here that when I got there, it was like, wow. So I couldn't wait to move back <laughs> and come back. And I think that's what this place right here is. Um, I don't know how much people appreciate it. Um, I think I, I like the idea. It's We're at Texas A&M, but we're sort of away from Texas A&M. Mm -hmm. We're out of the hustle and bustle. It's like we're going on a retreat over to West Campus, yep. over to the PCC and everything. Um, you know, I was telling somebody, um, matter of fact, we're talking about a certain event and they're talking about coming over here for the event. And I said, you know, what I'd, li I'd like to do for an event, you know, if I was doing an event, is come in, lecture, da -da -da -da, whatever, and then tell people, okay, you've got about 45 minutes, get in your groups and just go walk around the grounds. Yeah. And think about, reflect on what we just talked about and speak about. Because you don't have to stay inside. I mean, you can go outside. You can go ride the horses, you know. Oh, no, you can't really do that. <laughs> no, you off. cannot ride the horses. No. <laughs> Has anyone tried that? Yes. So after um, the World Series, there was a family walking around in their Astros gear. And they got up on the the child was sitting on the horses the mom was standing in between them the oldest son are you serious yeah i had to walk outside and tell him to get down like why what, what made them think they could do that i don't know i hope they're not watching this pod right here probably not because what would make you think you could do that people do it all the time lots of sorority and fraternity groups have been out here taking photos doing the same thing like yeah it's over the years i've had to tell several people to get down and leave it's my most favorite thing to do yes TJ does like that. I could do that. Yeah. Maybe you could hire me to do that. Extra security outside. I could, He's our I, bouncer. I, PCC I could be bouncer. the boun PCC bouncer. That's me. I, get, that. I wear a little tank top shirt. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about around that? Flexing. What's so yeah. funny about that? Yeah, he plays tennis. Yeah. In better shape than I am. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he recovered much better from his knee surgery than I did, too. Oh, it's a lot more active. He is, and he <laughs> followed through with physical therapy. I quit. <laughs> It's all the rehab. Twitter. No, I finished when I was good. Twitter. Yeah, I just quit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You decided when you were done. No, no my doctor did. Uh -huh. The physical therapist did not, but the doctor uh -huh. told me. He was like, you're good. So. No, yeah. you got to do what the physical therapist says. If I do what the physical therapist says, Dr. Ashley, I would be broke because they <laughs> want you to come <clears throat> so many sessions so you keep paying. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah, I know. I mean, he was great, and I got everything out of it I needed. So I wrote that song about you, huh? Which song? <laughs> I wrote that song about you. What song? Come on, sing it. Yeah, I know the song. Yeah, no, I say I gotta go to rehab. <laughs> I say no, no, no. Oh, I was hoping <laughs> that's where you were going with that. <laughs> I'm sorry, folks. I, I, I just get care. Stay. You gotta help me stay. I'm okay you, with that. Help me stay between the rooms. No, I like I like you being you. Yeah. And they're about to make they a movie about her life. I'm excited about that. Sarah say no, no, no. <laughs> I say no a lot. Dr. Ashley, today is my day off, and I chose <laughs> to come in because I didn't want to miss this. I'm not doing anything. Oh, you know. It's a rainy, rainy okay. day this week. Nope. Okay. okay. <laughs> I, I feel bad that you couldn't think of anything better to do on your day off. 
Well, she did. <laughs> you know, at least go <laughs> hang out at Walmart or Target, you know. She's leaving town when we're done. Okay. Yes. Where are you going? To uh, Cedar Creek Lake. Ooh. You going to go fishing or just <laughs> No, or? she is not going fishing. She's going to use a swing on the dock. <laughs> <laughs> I might go outside. <laughs> Might go out to okay, okay, so, okay. Back on point. So the reason that we're all here. Uh oh. Now that everyone knows you're retiring. Yeah. What's next? What's next? Well, what what I told everyone. So this is my third time retiring, and I'm gonna get it right this time. Third time's the charm. I'm gonna get it right this time. See, when I even when I took this job, I only told Mark I'd be here three years. Well, he only said he'd be here one term. Well, I know. It. So <laughs> we both lied. So, but, I mean, you get sucked. You get sucked in this place. And, you know, and just, but, uh, you know, this, I, I did seven years, and I, I, I've been in administration over 25 years, upper administration over 25 years. And uh, what I've told everyone is from – the last day of August until the last day of December, I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to play golf. I'm going to play tennis. I'm going to go fishing. And we're going to travel. And that's that. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Uh, Does your wife retire yet? Yeah. I was going to say, what did, what did she tell you you are going to do? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well. Travel. We, she really wants to travel. Yeah. We're, we're big-time tennis fans. We want to travel around the country and watch tennis matches all over the country. She loves to play golf, so we're going to go play golf courses all over the place, probably buy a little travel trailer. So if, uh, if anybody out there has one for sale, let me know because we're, we're looking for a little travel trailer. Uh, we don't want one you pull behind you. We want I was going to say, do you want a fifth wheel or like an RV? No, we want a little RV. So if, if anyone out there has anything, just let us know. You know, I've I've given a lot of service to this university, so <laughs> I figure that you can cut me a good deal. Okay, I'm not, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, when you purchase it, you won't be part of A and M, so it won't I won't be part. That's true. But that that's what I want to do now. Come January, I, I mean, I've got a lot of offers to do a lot of things to do consulting. I I do a lot of speeches, public speaking. I told uh, Mary you should be a motivational speaker. That's you know I used. To, I used to get paid a lot of money to be a motivational speaker before I took my jobs because once I once I worked for the system, once I worked for the college board, I couldn't get paid mm-hmm. because that was a thin line. Were you being invited because you're Frank Ashley or were you being invited because you were a senior vice president or executive? So Because you're Frank Ashley. Well. <laughs> then he wouldn't get paid. The or- organizations didn't see it that way. Mm-hmm. They said, well, but you wouldn't be invited if so. Yeah. so I can't get paid. So I, I can get paid again, and I, uh, I'm i working on a website. Matter of fact, uh, frankbashleythird.com. Take a look at the website. I, I think it is. I think that's what it is. <laughs> Did you set it up yourself? Huh? No, I paid someone to set it up for me. It's good. But it's, it's, a, it's a nice – okay. I see some people – Writing some like, notes down. They're all checking Googling. it out right now. They're Googling it. Frankbashley dot, 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 dot com. Uh, <laughs> but that's my website. And uh, I need to do – I probably need to update it because I got somebody to build it before I decided to retire. But I'm probably going to do a motivational speaking and travel. Those are the biggest two. We, we really love tennis. And we used to go to the U.S. Open. We want to go to all the major tennis tournaments. We'd like to go to Wimbledon, mm-hmm. the French Open, the Italian Open, and also the Australian Open. Wow. That would be fun. Why are you shaking your is head? It, is it there? Oh, it's there. Good. He remembered. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's Frank Ashley. I-I-I.com. Okay, Frank Ashley, I-I-I.com. No B. No B. no B. What does the B stand for? Huh? Bernard. Bernard, not Bernard. Bernard. All right. Okay. Well, I'm excited for you. Well, I'm excited too. I, excited you know, it's, traveling. I mean, the apprehension and everything because you don't, you know, you don't know if you're going to get bored. 
Because I mean, I'm I'm up at five o'clock every morning. Uh, You're not at five o'clock in the morning. Go meet Tanner at the course. You guys can hit the range early. Yeah. <laughs> you can text me. I'll be. I'm awake. Yeah. Okay. So am I. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, but I just uh, no. We'll, gonna, we'll go have breakfast. I'm gonna start <laughs> sleeping. You know, I mean, sleeping till seven o'clock is big for me. So Same. I mean, I might Sounds sleep nice. until yeah seven fifteen. <laughs> Don't get too crazy there. <laughs> yeah. I don't imagine you'll be slowing down anytime. Not anytime soon. I just, you know, it's going to be interesting. Because I've always done something. That's the thing about it. I, I've never not done anything. You can go around. and be like, welcome to my TED Talk. Yeah. Yeah. So are you guys going to stay, like, house here? Are you guys going to move Believe in? Believe it or not. We have put a bid down, and the bid has been accepted on a house in Navasota, Texas. Oh, the historic district? No, no. it's on Pecan. Probably, yeah, it's probably Pecan, by the golf course. It's on Pecan Lakes. <laughs> yeah, it's on the golf it's course. It's on the golf course. <laughs> Come on. I got the historic, historic the, district. Yeah, they have all kinds of pretty houses down there. It, it just shows that she knows me better than you do. <laughs> I like Navasota's historic district. It's so. it's neat. It's really neat. But Whatever. we it, it's you know Navasota. Good luck with all that construction down there. <laughs> it's not far from here. Mm-hmm. Plus it's a small town and everything. Yeah. Plus it's on the golf course. <laughs> so so do you have fair. your own golf cart already, or is that going to be not part yet. of the? Not yeah. yet. We got to get the house first. And that's the thing about it. We got to sell the house we have here. That's that's the pain, because we have a huge house here. And we buy in a small house there, so it's time to time to get rid of a little bunch of stuff. Yeah, downsize. I mean, how are you going to fit everything in an RV? I don't know. Matter of fact, if anybody needs a piano, let me know. I have a piano. Oh my God! Do not let Jeff hear this. Didn't you guys already? Jesus. I thought you were no. that one. <laughs> oh yeah, you no. told him no. Do you need right. a piano? No, Jeff wants a piano. Oh, hey Jeff, if you're listening, where's he going to put it? I don't. No. <laughs> he's, <We're>, he's not. <laughs> yeah, if you're listening. But but just he the, would put it in storage, so when we build a house, we would have a piano. Yeah. Well, he has to actually put foundation down and start that process. Uh, Jeff, if you're listening. Three years. I have a piano. It keep uh, it's free. You should donate it to one of the local theater companies. <gasps> you could donate it to us. We have pianos. No, I don't want any more. They don't get used enough as it is. Piano signed by Dr. Ashley. But you should. You have no space. You should. Um, <laughs> you you should. need a piano? She wants a piano. You want a piano? I said I wanted a piano, but I don't have room for a piano. How big is it? It's upright. Yeah, see. Oh, God, Jeff would love that. I mean, it'll fit right through. Right, right there. Mm. Right this tall. No, it won't. What are you going to do with it? How often do you play your keyboard? D- d- stop, don't worry. Stop don't, it. don't ask questions. <laughs> hey, she's not even here today. She apparently she is. She's not working. She's not working. She's sending I'm text messages, disrupting our podcast. Okay. Thanks, Doctor. Okay. Oh, but seriously, we'll you should I mean, donate it to one of the local unit. theaters. No, I'm donate it to Jamie or Jamie. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Turn your spare room into the uh, music room, and then your mom can sleep in her trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Paxton can sleep on the piano. He doesn't sleep in the guest room anyway. My child. Well, that's going to be a killer estate sale that you're going to have. No, I, no, no, <laughs> no. We we were going to do an estate sale, and I told Janice we're going to just donate it away. I took two truckloads of stuff down to uh, the mission two weeks ago because she wanted to have a big garage sale. I said, "No, we're not going to have a garage sale. We just didn't give it away." We talked about that too because we're in the process of packing and about to move. And Tanner told me yesterday, he was like, we should probably, maybe we should try to sell some of this. I was like, no, we can do a garage sale, but we can just put a sign that says free. Yeah. It's, you <laughs> I'm not know, messing with that. Plus, it's just, yeah, you got to put sticker. No, it's just, yep. plus, oh, I don't want to haggle with people and everything. That's what I'm saying. Just you don't have to sign haggle. You just be free. like, yes, yeah. come get it. Whatever price you, yes. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Penny, awesome. Take it. <laughs> yeah. T, you did that one time where it was best offer. Yep. Yeah. But she really didn't go with best offer. She just took the offer. Yeah. <laughs> I was just like, just get, just yeah. take it. <laughs> yeah. So where are the where where's your daughter at now? Okay, Two my daughters, daughter's remind me. My age. daughter's still in Tucson. Okay. That's my, she's my youngest. And my son's here That's in right. uh, College Station still. And he works in Navasota. <laughs> but he lives in College Station. So 
Man. He's looking at moving to San Antonio. Don't. Uh, and he's going. <laughs> God, don't. I know. He's going. Because uh, he could work at a distance, and every once in a while he has to meet here. He goes, well, that's perfect. I could come live with y'all when I have to be at work. And I'm like, yeah, we'll charge your rent. Too. <laughs> and you're like, what are the hotels charging? Yeah. That's what they're charging. Yeah, whatever they're charging. <laughs> you get per diem, coming to dad for my golf. <laughs> so why does he want to go to San Antonio? He's got some buddies that live over there. So he's thinking about moving there. It's definitely not what it used to be. No, it's not. Their roller derby team is really good, though. No, that was it. That was four questions. That's it? Yeah. We kept it, yeah. We kept it simple. Wow. We weren't sure how far off the tracks we were going to go. Yeah. We didn't go far off the tracks. Or, you know, <laughs> how busy you were and if you were going to be. You know. <laughs> I, I thought we started staying on tracks pretty good. We did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Better than most. So I have talked to Mary and Yvonne, and we're trying to schedule a time to do a final one with you and the dean. That's what, yeah, that's what Mary said. That, that'll that be fun. That'll be a hoot. My email said, can y'all please tell me when they're both available to do the podcast? Mary sends me a response back, together? Question mark. <laughs> I said yes. <laughs> together. You know, you know, you know the thing I tell people, they ask how I wound up at the Bush School, and I think I told this story before. Uh, I was interviewing for presidencies around the country, mm-hmm. and uh, I played – I played tennis with uh, two faculty members who were here in the Bush School. And they said, Frank, you know, why don't you come work at the Bush School? And I go, I'm not going to work at A&M anymore. I've I've worked there so many years, I'm not going to go back. And they said, well, we got a new dean. He's not from academia. And with all of your experience in academia, he needs a good associate dean Mm -hmm. for academic affairs. So I kept, I mean, for for weeks I said, no, no, no. And then one of them said, at least go and meet him. So I said, okay, I'll go over and meet him. So I came over to the bus school. I went upstairs and I met him. And like I tell people, we fell in love. <laughs> it was love at first sight. <laughs> Aww. And, I mean, we've been a couple for seven years, you know. It's a wonderful bromance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> makes, okay, work, makes work worth it, right? <laughs> it does. <laughs> take, the, take the drink away. <laughs> it does. Yeah. But we did. We, we, we just hit, we hit it off. And the thing I like about Mark, uh, we both think, we think I like about a lot of things. Uh, Mark understands that he really doesn't know anything about the academic affairs side. I mean, the guy knows everything about organization and management and everything, but as far as the academic stuff, he doesn't understand that. So he, Frank, that's just your, you're in charge of this. You're in charge of academic affairs. And uh, it's, it's, it's good. It reminds like- me when I worked for one of the chancellors. Uh, the chancellor, uh, he was a medical doctor. He goes, I don't know anything about these universities. So, I mean, I, yeah. I was in charge of all the academic affairs. Well, the sign of a good leader is recognizing your weaknesses and hiring people. Yeah. I mean, what, what I have one boss who always said, what you do is you hire good people and you get out of the way, which is what you do, right, Sarah? I mean, I feel like I do, but you'd have to ask the peanut gallery. I'm just here for comic relief. I don't. <laughs> I mean, when she writes answer, me part you know. of her reviews, most of the time they're nice. <laughs> That's fair. Most of the time. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, we all have growth to do. I don't have a problem. I know I got to change certain things. <laughs> but I try. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you should smile more. We wouldn't do. You yeah. Smile more. Yeah, I don't have any of you smiling today. <laughs> <laughs> I've been smiling the whole time. <laughs> no. Yeah. Poorly timed okay. smiles. Well, I don't oh, think it's we just would 11, have. 44. Jeez. We wouldn't have time any just of our. Flies. Is it, okay, so it's not diversity, inclusion, equity anymore. It's community and culture, right? Yeah. We wouldn't have any of that if it wasn't for TJ in our building because I would never have known where to start. And she's done everything to keep us very inclusive, um, especially the Culture City stuff. And that's some cool stuff. stuff. The lactation rooms, for one, the fact yeah. that we're on the university map with all of that. 
um, just in her just building the rapport with every other department on campus. Yeah. She's better at booking <laughs> than I am because some events I'm like, um, I don't really want to say yes. <laughs> just like when you yeah, ask me. And I'm like, if we got the space, let's do it. See, I just learned last <laughs> semester you guys had a shower over here. I could have been <laughs> in the green room. Yeah, I could have been coming over here shower. Shower in the green room. Oh, a yeah. shower. I think meant like a baby shower. No. So confused. No, I could have been coming over here. Where I could have worked out. And yeah, there's fluffy towels. There's shampoo. There's soap. There's a deodorant. Yeah, what are we gonna do with her? I don't know. I'm amazed I've gotten this no, far. No, but more. seriously, I, it's, uh, you know, if we have events and things like that, let me know. If you need some money, come help out. Yeah. Especially if you have something fun. I really think they should do an event with him and the dean. Like for the whole school to come sit and listen to. We stream it out to all the alumni and the What's donors. That? Isn't that for the reunion? Do what now? To have you and the dean just come and do a, like a, as everyone calls like it, a fire fireside. Side. I don't know why they call it fire. It's never, okay. anyway. There's not a fire. That's, well, yeah. But just have you and the dean come before you leave or before he leaves. Maybe you come back when he decides to leave because yeah. we all know that's probably not going to be, you know, very long from now before he leaves. Yeah. Oh Lord, he no, knows something. No. Look at that face. Everybody he knows, knows something. something. They just know. Th the, all I've ever heard is that they won't leave at the same time, but it's not going to be long after each other. That's just been the rumor that's been floating around. Look, he. They did what they needed to. The DC teaching side is here. The school has grown. They have a good rapport with all the university administration, so they're going to leave it on a high note. So they jump ship. Yeah, basically. <laughs> then someone just the needs to come and maintain it. Rule. Is you leave it better than it was mm -hmm. when you got there. And I, I think we are. I don't know. I haven't been here that long. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see no change. You don't look no better to me. Apparently the only thing I'm not, they, I'm not, they... I'm not privy to the polit political side of everything. So you don't want to be involved nope. in that? Nope. nope. Well, I will say the one thing they made better that still does not benefit you is the, um, the, the little building directory maps they have next door. Oh, yeah, I still get lost. <laughs> it means nothing to me. <laughs> I still get, I still stop Bush School students. And I'm like, um, where's this person's office? <laughs> yeah. You just wander around, run into somebody you know, and then ask them. I mean, I, I get my steps in every time I go over there because I got to walk up and down hallways and I'm like, hour later we see her. <laughs> like, Sorry, I got lost. I think she's just hanging out in people's offices. Sometimes. Yeah. You know, look, if they don't come to us, we're going to go to them. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's the easiest way to get answers. It's to be or like paperwork signed. <laughs> hey. You know, we tried to streamline all this, but we still have to sometimes go the paper route. Yeah. It's okay. Oh, well, I'm going to miss you. Yeah, me too. Yeah, we we'll miss you guys. Maybe I'll come back as a guest on. Yeah, you're always welcome. And, I, and talk about my adventures. Ooh, yes. That could be fun. Life oh, in retirement. Show? That life in retirement. What people have to look forward to. What they have to look for. Yeah. <gasps> we have to bring your wife on though. Mm-hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Why not? No. Had to be separate. No. No. <laughs> those dean's dinners side. with those we dean's dinners with you two together at our table. No. Tanner and I still talk about no. those dinners. No. They, we can get his side of the story and then get her side no. of the story. No. 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 And then the truth will be somewhere in between. No. no. She, he was telling something to Tanner, and she was sitting next to him just shaking her head. <laughs> She's like. She just got a totally different perspective of things. <laughs> yeah. It's because she's never forgiven me because she said I never proposed to her. So proposed to her? No, I proposed to her. <laughs> what is but it with men imagining these things that actually happen within their head? That, you know. Now, I, in her mind, she's saying, I think she said, I never got on her knees and mm -hmm. said, will you marry me? So did you? Well, That's here's the no. deal. That's here's the no. deal. Here's the deal. We went on a trip to the Virgin Islands. Oh, I want to go there. It's so beautiful. And we went over to St. Thomas. And I said, you know what? I heard they have good prices on wedding rings here. You want one? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why are you shaking your head for? So you didn't propose. I did. No. That's a proposal. No, it's not. It, 
Let's it, go pick huh? you out a piece of jewelry. Right? No. No. They have wedding rings here. Uh-huh. But you didn't say, hey, you want to get married. Let's do you go wanna, pick out a ring. Do you want to Do you want to get one? It's... That's like asking guys, someone. Guys, help me. Guys. That's, that's no. Like, guys, no. Don't guys. even say anything. No. Michael, don't even start. That's like asking so, someone what they Jamie, want for dinner. Is this Jamie, okay with you? Jamie. Yeah. Jamie. <laughs> I'm, I'm not siding with you on this one. Sorry. Listen, so you need to do a vow renewal. Mm-hmm. How many We've years? already done that. How many years have y'all been married? Thirty. It'd be thirty-one. Go back to St. Thomas and try again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that genie's it. out of the bottle already. <laughs> you can't put that genie back. In the yeah, box. but you go and then you and then you ask, and then her. you go back to a jewelry store. Hey, what if she says no? Well, then you'd be like, all right. Well. <laughs> I don't know. No, I don't know. And she says no, and you say, too bad. You already t- <laughs> You're stuck with me anyways. <laughs> so we got these different stories. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah. I feel like hers are going to be a little bit more accurate. Probably more detailed. <laughs> no. There's a story about, you know, how we met. I said, well, she's dating this other guy, and. The guy by she goes, No, I wasn't dating that guy. Yeah, I said, Yes, she was. She goes, No, I wasn't. I said, Well, he said you're always dating. She goes, That doesn't mean we're. (laughs) (laughs) If he says they were dating, they were dating. She says there wasn't dating. They may have gone on a date, but we're not dating. If you go on a date, you're dating. No, because it might have just been one. I'm with TJ on this one. One date doesn't count. That's just like. Get to know you. It's like having coffee saying, Hey. And seeing if you check all the boxes. Because maybe they went on dates with other people. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Life- you know, I mean, it, you know. <laughs> Life lessons, Dr. Yeah, Ashley. Life are. lessons. <laughs> you know, that just shows you're never too old to learn. <laughs> <laughs> That's for you viewers out there. <laughs> you're never too old to learn something. Yeah, we learn stuff constantly from our students. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this this lingo of this generation, I can't. And oh, my eleven no. year old is starting to do it, and I'm just like, no. No, it's big English. <laughs> it's big English. It is, but words don't mean what they used to mean anymore. Like what? I can't say it. We're recording. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll have to do that offline. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, it's interesting. Yeah. I can't, I can't even, half the time, I'm just, I don't even know. I have to go look it up, and then I'm like, why am I looking at a dictionary? I need to look at an urban dictionary. Which isn't always accurate. No, it's not. And then you ask them, and they try to explain it to you, and you're just like, it's like they're trying to speak to me. I know it. <laughs> yeah, right. I love that movie. Yeah. <laughs> Cute. Holy. Yeah. Anyways. Thank you, Dr. Ashley. Thanks, guys. This is fun. <sighs> it's hope- always fun. We hope to get you and the Dean on. Next time we'll make sure the AC is working. It's I working feel better now. now. Yeah. It's, it's kicked on now. now. Yeah, the fact that I was able to keep my jacket on, I figured it's probably doing something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well. Hi, y'all. Thank you. Time. All right, go back to work. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining us this week on Coffee Talk. Make sure to visit our website, apcc.tamu.edu where you can subscribe to the show on YouTube, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts so you'll never miss an episode. While you're at it, if you enjoy the show, tell your friends about us. Or just drop us a comment and let us know how we're doing and if there's a local space we should check out. I'm Sarah. And I'm TJ. Thanks Thanks for for listening. listening.